morning. So I'm gonna off to get my nails done. <clears throat> I don't know if it's three weeks or four weeks. It needs to needs to get done. I'm getting some little delaminations in the corner. So <clears throat> I always do the gel. So I do um, uh, gel, and then they've been putting powder on them. It makes them stronger. I don't like it very thick, though. I, I make them make it thinner, and they do a pretty good job. It depends on the girl I get, and you know most of them are good. One of them's really rough. I, like she like tries to tear my fingernails off. It's like. Oh. But, you know, I do my best. So I'm off to do that. And um, it's just a necessity at this point because you know, I go another week, I'm going to have a problem with them. Once I left them on for like five weeks and they were coming apart and I like super glued one of them to keep it because I was out of town on a trip. And I was like, oh, I don't have time to do this. So I did that and I got water under one of them and it like got like a problem and made a dark spot in my fingernail. I guess it's really a big problem. You have to be careful, but they fixed it and it's almost all grown off at this point. It was a long time ago, back in October or something. Went on a, a thing with the car club where we all went down to Monterey. Or, I don't know. Yeah. It was the coast run. So we went down to Monterey. Um, but that was it. What I wanted to talk about today was um, kind of about surgeries, things that are coming. It's been on my mind a little because I've been doing my research and my homework. You know, they give you homework. Um, I've got a bottom surgery class coming up. It's a three-hour class where the surgeons are there and um, uh, a psychiatrist and a social worker, I guess. I don't know why the social worker, but um, I've got that scheduled... I don't know, the end of next month or something. And I have to have all this homework to do. So I've got to um, watch some videos. I was watching the UCLA video, which is a pretty darn good one, actually. And they explain everything. And, uh, it, you know, they've got some pictures and things. I actually like it better when it's not like a skeletal picture because I have trouble visualizing whatever they're doing. And, there was one artist who had made this big wall of vaginas. Um, they were like molded from actual ones and they're all placed side by side. So you can see like not, no one really looks the same as another. There's no like standard by which they are constructed. So, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I don't really have any worries about, you know, whatever it is it is, I don't care. Um, well, I just need it to exist. <laughs> so it may never see the light of day. But that's fine. I don't care. It just has nothing to do with what I need from it. So I just need it to be functional as far as utilitarian daily purposes. <laughs> don't really have any goals. So that all being said, um, and I'm going through several of them. I'm struggling through the ones that are like um, the surgery ones. Oh. My goodness, they're hard to watch. But I need to know, I need to educate myself, I need to understand there's a lot of post-operative care, you know. So I'm, I'm working on my homework, it's fine. Uh, my next one coming up, gosh, in three days, I think, I go get consultation on VFS and they will schedule my surgery date, which, as I'm being told, may not be far away. So I guess we'll be able to do some before and after stuff on vocal feminization surgery kind of soon. Um, uh, friends of mine and I are going to a Prince, um, like, uh, recreation kind of thing called Purple. My friend was um, joking with me last night. We were out with the car club folks and we're sitting there and, uh, and they're like, yeah, because we're going to Purple and stuff. And I'm like, I know, I'm so excited. I love, like, you know, 80s is my stuff. And I love Prince. I have, like, I don't know, six or seven cassettes. And, um, yes, cassettes. I think I have, like, a few CDs as well. Yes, CDs. 
I know. I'm retro. Sorry. I'm old is what it is. Um, so, and if you've watched the very first episode of Jackie's Couch, you'll know that this car has both a CD player and a cassette player. So, and so does my radio at home. Although you might not know that. But um, I, I purposely went and hunted down this um, bookshelf stereo that had a cassette player and CDs as a five CD thing. And I can always, you know, Bluetooth my phone and stuff, but you know, I, I like having the CDs. Anyway, so BFS could come up real fast and it'll just be that. And my friends were joking that um, I have to be silent for 15 days, which honestly may be a problem. Um, so for 15 days, I have to be silent. And one of them said, um, well, you don't want to have that done right before we go to purple because, you know, you won't be able to make any noise and hoot and holler. I said, oh, I don't want to hoot and holler. I want to like sing along. And she says, oh, oh my gosh, make sure you have the surgery right before purple. I'm like, oh, you, you're terrible. You're awful. And, um, but it was funny, you know, so I, you know, what am I supposed to do? It was funny. I laughed my rear end off and, uh, she's a funny gal. So, um, oh, black. I'll be glad when this is an actual road. I heard they're going to do it someday, I hope. Um, so, you know, I don't know, maybe we'll do some before and after stuff. I'll look at an old video and I'll write it down and then I'll say it. And we can all hear the difference, I guess. My thing is, you know, I want to be able to sing Silent Night and not miss the three notes that I always can never hit. So, um. I was thinking about getting, like, rock band for my um, uh, Xbox and just getting the microphone because I used to love to do that with friends and uh, I can't play my guitar very well with my nails now, but um, I could do the microphone and sing and that would be good for practicing, but I have to talk to the surgeon and ask them what can I do, when can I do it, you know, um, what's good, what's bad, you know, one of my things is I want to be able to, you know, get my singing voice tuned up and, um, and work with that, so, I don't know. Top surgery is going to be end of May. They moved it 20 days, which I don't care. There was another patient that really needed reconstruction, and I said, yeah, by all means, you know, I'm in no hurry. It's, it is whatever it is, so end of May. And I still have no clue what I'm doing with that. I guess I'll go and take a few bras and figure out what seems right and then just go, yeah, that one. I don't know. I've got no clue. So I just want to fit in. I want to blend in. Blending in is important. So there is a term called woodworking. Um, and woodworking in the trans community means you're just trying to blend into the woodwork, which really is my only goal in life. I just want to be, you know, I don't have grand designs of anything other than just being. It's always been the same since I was a little kid. I just want to be myself, not stuck in this wrong body. It just has been the worst 40 some odd flipping years of dealing with it. I've just done my best, as any of us do. Um, I've tried everything to get past this, and I mean everything. I've had every overcompensating thing you can even imagine. Sometimes it makes it worse. Now I just feel free, like I'm finally like, oh, I don't have to like freak out about trying to convince people of anything, so that's nice. The freedom of it, you know. And accepting myself. I think the biggest one, I accepted myself. I know who I am. And I'm fine with me. I like me. I'm worth trying to learn to love me. And that's hard. Um, I always want to put myself down or not be nice to myself personally. If I was another person in the way I treat me, it would not be nice. So I have to learn to change that somehow. There are other people in my life that I want to help as well. You know, I know some people who are just intensely hurt by my transition. They're just so, they're just in pain. And 
and I, I see it. And um, I want so desperately to take that pain from them, but I don't know what to do. I am myself, and I'm assuming with time things will be better. Um, I just, it, it's hard seeing people you care about being in pain because of your situation. But I remind myself I've done nothing wrong. I'm just existing. And we all have the right to exist the way we want. And if that's not okay for others, we need to just do our best. And if, it's, if our best isn't good enough, it's not on us. It's on them. And I hold no malice or grudges to anybody. Um, and it's just in my nature to want everyone around me to be happy. You know, I'm a very don't rock the boat. Um, I want everyone to be happy. And um, I'm a people pleaser, so, you know, I go to great lengths often. But you cannot please everybody. I know this. You know, I can... I could go to great lengths to please that person in an effort to make them, you know, feel better. Somebody else in my orbit will be then unhappy with what I've done because I've done something that wasn't good for me. So, what do you do? I'm just trying to be the best me I can be and treat people as I'd want to be treated. You know, it's all I can think of. So that's what I do. As far as surgeries go, the only other things I can think of are uh, facial feminization surgery. That one spooks me, but I'm, you know, I'm not going to not do it. I mean, I'm done my consultation. I'm all approved. We're just kind of waiting on a date. And uh, I know soon I have to go back in sometime and go over some more details and sit down and schedule the date and stuff. And, There's just so much as your face. I mean, I can live with other body parts hurting and stuff, you know. Uh, I think my chest is not a big deal. It's not like I rely on it to do something, so I just have to be careful with it. Lifting, you know, is an issue. I just have to make sure I have help. Um, vocal, no big deal, I don't think. You know, I'm just, my throat will hurt, and it'll be inconvenient to not be able to say much, but that's temporary. You know, all this stuff is temporary. It's hard to remind yourself. It's all temporary. One of the things I wish was faster was would be electrolysis. I mean, it's a long process. And it is one of the most dysphoric things I face. Haha -ha face. Um, it, it is a terribly dysphoric thing to deal with. Because uh, it, you know, it just doesn't happen all at once but it's necessary and I have to just get it done. I find myself wanting to go more than once a week and try to speed things up and I don't know how productive that is. Um, so I'm still doing my once a week every four hours and I had to skip uh, this Saturday. It uh, didn't work with the, some scheduling we had and I didn't want to go to um, this event that we did in buttercup mode. Not as tough as I used to be. I don't know why. I used to be tougher. You know, just run myself out in buttercup mode and not worry about it. But, I don't know. It seems like I'm getting more fragile or something. It's odd. Some days I'm good. Some days I'm hiding under a rock kind of feeling. So, I don't know. I'm really enjoying today. Today's Sunday. And the weather's, you know, it's okay. It's kind of crisp. A little, little clouds here and there. And feels nice. Little sun, little little clouds, everything's still kind of wet and green. Feels good. So with all those surgeries coming up, I'll make sure that I'm letting you know what those are every now and then so you can uh, click the alerts tab and stuff. And remind, uh, I got to remind you, um, thumbs up the video. I always forget. I'm supposed to tell you in the beginning of the video and I always forget thumbs up the video and I need more subscribers. One of my friends who knows me um, unsubscribed because he's sick of hearing me because he, he hears me all the time. So it's like, 
I was like, oh, I hear all this garbage all the time. I don't need to, like, have it popping up in my feed. And I'm like, all right. So somebody subscribe. Bring me back so I can have that same number. Um, and, uh, and like the video. And then when you, when you subscribe, click the little bell so you get the alerts. Um, you don't want to miss vocal feminization surgery. It's coming, so. Um, and as far as other things, I keep losing weight. Um, I'm trying to hold for a bit because losing weight makes your wrinkles show up. And I'm like, oh, I don't like my wrinkles. Chicken neck. I don't know. I could do something, but I don't want to. It doesn't make me any less female. I got to remind myself not to fall into the beauty trap. So it's hard to do. It's a very feminine thing to do. Feminine. It's a very female thing to do. We all have that problem. So anyway, take care of yourself and know that, you know, if you're facing dysphoria and uh, feeling down and all those things, there are resources out there that are fantastic for you. Um, there is a forum online, transgenderpulse.com, and they have fantastic people there. It is only about support and nothing else. If you decide to join, please read the rules very carefully as uh, young people are allowed to go there. It is a support place, and we don't want young people seeing things that are not nice, either verbally descriptive or imagery. So that's not the place for other things. Um, there's also a, uh, a very good resource page with uh, transgender-affirming therapists in your area. I've used it myself, and I, I very much like that um, person. It was instrumental in allowing me to accept myself. And there's also a suicide hotline if you need it. Take care of yourself. Know that I really care about how you're doing. If you were my friend, I would be texting you and asking you how you're doing, checking on you, uh, want to know exactly what's going on in your life, and, uh, and being one of your support people. So know that that's, that's why I'm here. I want to be your support person too, even if we're not directly connected. You know that I'm telling you I care. I'm very concerned about the way you're doing and going forward. I want to see you get the help and support that you need as, uh, as your road leads you where it leads you. As my road leads me on the way to my salon, I'm going to go and try to figure out what color I want because I don't know. I have no clue. Feeling like I just want a straight color, no glitter. Maybe some, uh, maybe not, maybe just color today. Maybe no little art on the nail. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. So, at any rate, off I go. Take care of yourself. I'll catch you next time. I'm going to try to do someone on the couch. I've been scheduling and everyone has their own time period and my time period and their time period. They're not matching. There's one particular artist. I'm dying to get on that couch and I'm going to keep bugging her until she's there and then we'll sit down and talk with her. So take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye.